He's the player with foot in opponent's mouth disease. Carl, perfect legend, White. Real quick, my comprehensive fight game strategy guidebook, Game Fu Way of the Digital Fist, is now available in paperback. When you're ready to take your game to the next level for the new era, the link is in the description. Now let's get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna give you all the, my top five most annoying characters to fight. And I, I guess they're top five moves and stuff to go along with why I feel that way. But Victor, man, this character has got everything that's annoying. He's got a, well, this is 15 frames, but dude, this is a really good counter hit mid that, that basically like stops you from like getting in. But then on top of that, he's got back one plus two heat engager. This is probably the fastest heat engager power crush in a game. And it recovers faster than all of them too. I don't know if they nerfed it a little bit or something, but it recovers really fast. And you can do this whenever you want and pressure and all that stuff well, where there's a gap or whatever. And this is really annoying to deal with because he's just like, yeah, he can whip punish with it. You just hold back and press one back one plus two. It's very difficult to miss that move. But yeah, one of the most annoying moves in the game. So like, since you know that this moves on the screen, you got to already be preemptively ducking high to avoid it. And then you get hit by other stuff like down four or two or while standing two or whatever other stuff he's got. But okay, so another super annoying move that he's got down back four. Now, I know you can block the sweep and kill him. It's really unsafe. But dude, do you really want to duck? with all the stuff he be doing and all that, it's, it's it's annoying. Like, honestly, getting checked and poked or whatever. I mean, I know these are highs, but then he, he does this, what? And he start going into his teleport nonsense. It's just annoying to deal with. But just to have to play in that mind state, like, all right, I got to duck. But I guess what you want to do is just try to stay at his max distance and avoid getting hit by it. But anytime you try to attack him or approach or something, this will counter hit you. It's a long combo. It's just like, it's just like Lars. And uh, well, I mean, he is the, the head of the Lars organization, so that does make sense. But it's just annoying. And then you got running two. This is one of the best running twos in the game. So much frame advantage on on hit. I mean, on block, and then on hit, he's like, yeah, he can do it so quick. Just like dragging off. I got all this stuff set up because I've been laughing. But yeah, it's just like dragging off. You keep doing this plus five. It, this is basically a theme of the game. Easy running attack so people can just do this all day. And it, it hits on the ground if they not don't get up at the right way. It's really annoying. Then you can go for his grabs and all that. Like if you're not good at sidestepping this, you are going to be having a bad day. And then it's another thing. How are you just going to sidestep it so easy when he's got all these other annoying moves to check you? And then this hitbox is so big, and if you're wrong, you get knocked down. He gets to do it over and over and over again, just like Dragon Ball. Super annoying move. And then this move, oh my God, this move is so annoying, dude. Even when you are plus hella on on hit or whatever, this move or on block, this move will say, I don't care. And don't let him be heat engaged doing this. Oh my, and it's safe. Hard to sidestep. You can still sidestep it though. I, I can forget if it's up or down. You have to go check practice mode, just set the dummy to it. But man, like this move, so annoying. Then if you try to power crush it, it does so much damage. And then look, look how much damage it does on chip. Hold on. Look at that. Come on, man. And you can just throw it out whenever they decide to approach. It's, dude, it's, it's a really annoying move, but yeah. That that's that's it for Victor. Well, honorable mention two two. Hold on, yeah, it's it's pretty annoying as well. And then all his lows and stuff, and you gotta just really guess on dealing with him. Moving on to Rashid, another character that benefits from just being able to run into all day and be plus, and you just gotta deal with their nonsense. The character with the gr who's blessed with great buttons. His down four two is safe. Has a good distance, hits mid, launches on, on normal hit. No, it doesn't launch on cross, thank God. But still, just having that to throw out, you can't just get in on him. He can stop you and approach your approach. And then you're like, oh, I'm about to get in now. And his ain't that much slower than Victor's. Victor's is what, maybe 15 frames, his is 17 frames, so you can just keep doing that over and over. Then he's got up forward two. 
No, my bad, not a four two, a four one. This move, yes, you can sidestep it to avoid it, but then he's like, all right, cancel, bitch. What's up? What's up? And he catch you with something else. And then guess what? He can go into this right into his slide or to his lows. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is annoying as hell. If someone, look, come on, look how fast that is. So then you're like, all right, tight. He you gotta start doing la launchers and stuff. Don't even, don't fight a Shaheen player that don't care about life. They throwing out the most irregular strategies doing this running three and, and running two and stuff and then he's got oh i already talked about down four two this this is annoying slide i mean anytime you got a slide like like law and you can keep kind of looping it over and over again it's the same type of nonsense then you got some crazy stuff to just throw people off and look look, look at this move look at this move guess what does on block plus one so he's like poking you doing this all day hold on let me make him block doing this he's minus one on his, his down four one you know how good that is that's like a Tekken five down four one so you can just poke like that be annoying go for a slide a fake slide go for grabs like he's just stupid but then the icing on the cake he's got a safe power crush heat engage my bad the wrong button back three plus four 16 frames look how fast this is safe high power crush you can sidestep it but dude this is up there with 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 uh what's his name victor that's up there with him it is dude really annoying character people sleep on shaheen every day yoshi mitsu Man, this character is so annoying. I'm, surp I'm surprised I didn't put a number one. But Victor is just a pain in the butt. But Yoshi, oh my god, dude. First off, we starting off with the flash. This move right here, whenever someone tries to do anything or, or, or whatever, you stop this. Every frame trap gets blown up mostly by flash. So, but it is minus 15 on block. You, they can get a launch punish on it, but man, any situation that you normally have to hold for like plus frames and then pressure, he can get out of it f with flash. So the threat of that will make the opponent hesitate, which allows you to start doing crazy stuff like all his lows. He's got so many ways of knocking down. I forgot how to do his uh, full crouch low that, that knocks down his from across the screen. Well, not across the screen, but like a ways away, but it's yeah it's pretty annoying he's got good buttons his down four two is also safe like shaheen's he's got good normal counter buttons like like check this out this move if he catches you with this like the second hit that's a that's a combo and don't get hit on counter hit but he can like basically check you for that and then he's got 3-1 where he heat engages off of if he just hits uh like I, I kinda count three as his own button. I mean like yeah, you can do three one two, but he also is three one. I mean three two one. My bad, three two one plus two. And then three one three one heat engages and he goes into dragonfly stance. He can do all this nonsense where he can do like grabs, a bunch of uh uh stand transitions into what was it flea and flea is really weird to try to block as well he's got lows in it and he's just on the ground doing moves instead of actually like it's it's weird to challenge but he's got all this stuff but as far as generic stuff down four two is really annoying flash is really annoying then the low unblockable say you're like all right you think you got to read on yoshimitsu's lows and stuff he does this and it's unblockable. And it gets, and it gets all this. Actually, I forgot the combo. Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, all right, all right. And then you get to go in and do more nonsense and mix people up, hit them. And he's got back two, two, really good. The second hit's a high, so you can duck it, but after a flash, this combos, and you go into your heat engager, which you also can poke with it like this. 
and confirm it as a normal combo. But you gotta be quick. Okay, not confirm so much, but like, yeah, you throw it out, it, it doesn't. But you can like threaten them. I, I, I was uh, wrong because I was thinking about how easy that is. And it's just combos. I'm not actually delaying it. But yeah, this character's annoying. Low unblockable flash, down 4 2, having a good 3 1, 3 2, like just generic normals, down 4 4. I know this is extra. But then you got this move right here, right? Yoshi players, they'll be attacking you and doing all this annoying pressure. And they do this, and you try to whiff punish them. And then you get whiff punished because he gets to basically move and then uh, recover fast enough to whiff punish you. But it does take some of his HP, but thankfully, I mean, he can heal himself with all these stances where he sits on the ground or whatever. Because if you're afraid of approaching them, they will take advantage of all of that. Or they'll start coming in with his knee. Also, he's got um, 4 4 power crush. Pretty fast. It's mid. It doesn't heat engage, though, but it does. He can't get set up. He's got a lot of long range buttons. 4 1 plus 2, especially like when he's in heat. A annoying button in his heat smash. Got a lot of range, but yeah. Yoshimitsu is super duper annoying. All right, next, uh, dude, Lars is so annoying, man, especially since they buffed him and made it to where uh, you can't step anymore after he does uh, dynamic three or dynamic entry three. Like all these are options you can't avoid now. Before you could like do a micro side step to get to deal with all these options and then like block a certain way, but now it's straight up like you just gotta guess. You gotta just stand there and take it. Thankfully, I guess like. It does end after you block something, but dude. If he, if he says he engaged, right? Like that gets crazy. But then, all right, so outside of what? Dynamic three, right? Into his other pokes. But yeah, dynamic entry one's annoying. Plus on block, a high, you got a duck, but then you duck. He can go for the two version. Of course, he can go for a grab outside of this. He's got a bunch of other like Power Ranger looking moves where he's posing and all this stuff. But even though certain moves like are unsafe, like it's down back four, like I was talking about with Victor, see, is the same type of move. It's still just as annoying to get you one a duck, so then he can catch you with his his mids and stuff. Honestly, this character has too many moves to just say, oh, he's a uh, what? These top five moves are annoying. Like this move's annoying. This would be one of them. I would say arc blast, but that's more so like a whiff punish, but I know people just throw it out. Up four three is mad annoying. Up four four is mad annoying. Down back two one is annoying because he can go into entry off this. Of course, four three, the manual way to go into it. But yeah, this character is really annoying because it's, it's hard to determine when you should try to attack him. And he has all these evasive ways to get big damage on you. Thankfully, he's got to commit to some of this stuff. Like, especially if he's having a, a bad day, guess wrong, and wants to get out of pressure. But, yeah. Now to my next character. Now, this, you got run into. I called him this. <laughs> Dragon off, you got run into, and then you got the, uh, the just frame version. There it is. In his uh oops that's the wrong one down back three plus four the hatchet kick super annoying move like yeah you can block it and punish it but i don't know i think it should be a little bit more i'm saying it's kind of and it hits ground look at that big chunk 
Then uh, his full crouch down for a one four is annoying because it just it goes back and like it's a looping situation mid screen and puts him in a really big advantage. Like if you try to if you try to size up here, this will launch you. And if you try to size up the wrong way here, this will catch you. If you just block, then you're back in the right same situation. If you try to press a button here, he's at an advantage. He can whiff punish you with a launcher, and then yeah, it's just it's it's so annoying to deal with just that and then if he's not doing full crouch down for a one he's doing down two which also puts him in full crouch and it's a really fast 18 frame low so this is good for like catching people trying to come in with power crushes and stuff because it's so quick but yeah like just those moves alone this character is super annoying of course he's got a lot of grabs he's got a lot of good command grabs and people got to worry about and then he's got strings like this and you're not fast enough to duck it is this is gonna be a really tough time for you but yeah these characters are super duper annoying my i think the most annoying to fight like other characters there are other characters that are annoying to fight like like nina and stuff but the way that these can just get away with stuff and kind of steamroll you they're super annoying and you got to be on point 